since I've been injured, I haven't been able to run around and do that stuff on the field. So I've just been in the gym, lifting weights, taking care of my body, eating right and living right. And I've been making some pretty good muscle gains and people have been checking out my Instagram, they've been seeing the gains and they've been asking me for advice. And if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you are, it's at Progressive Soccer. And also you can follow me on my personal account at Dylan Tubi. So I thought I would put together a little video and I'm gonna start by giving you some training principles. Then I'll give you a basic routine that you can follow and still get into great shape as well as the biggest mistake that people make. So first of all, basic training principles. I wanna give you three ideas to take away from this video and these are very important. I want you to use them every time you train in the gym or you're just doing basic stuff at the field like this. You're working on your strength. You're trying to develop muscle size, definition, get stronger, more powerful. So number one is you have to focus on, especially if you're looking to develop muscle size and definition, the mind-muscle connection. Now you may have heard that term if you watch some bodybuilding videos and basically that means if I'm doing a push-up, I have to actually feel the movement in my chest. I'm focusing on the, developing the chest, so I have to feel it in my chest. You can just go through a push-up, pump out 20 push-ups, but not feel anything in your chest. Get no pump in your chest get no workout for your chest. Same thing goes for a squat. I can just fly through a squat, do it with all momentum, not focusing on where I'm feeling the tension. So when I'm squatting, if I'm focusing on my legs, I wanna feel it in my legs. I wanna focus on getting that tension in my legs. So when you're exercising, if you're doing a, let's say for a very basic example, you're doing a bicep curl in the gym, you have to really focus on your bicep and try to put all the tension in your bicep if that's what you're working on. So number two is you have to control the movement. As you can see here, I'm doing it nice and slow. If you're just flying through the motions, you're not gonna get anything out of it. So many people go to the gym and they're lifting heavy weights, but they're just throwing it around and dropping it. You may get a little bit stronger, but guess what? You're not developing any muscle. You're not breaking, tearing down the muscle fiber and forcing it to come back stronger. So really focus on controlling the motion and even go as far as going five seconds down on the eccentric movement. So when you're coming down, look at this pull down or this pull up, I'm going down super slow. If I'm doing a bench press or a squat, when I go down, I'm going super slow, five seconds down, then I'll explode up with a little more power. So think about those three principles and we'll review them again at the end. So this is just a basic routine and people think you need the most advanced routine to get results, to get better results. The truth is you can get ripped on basic exercises. Do this, push up, squat and pull up, but really focus on doing the motion with control, that mind muscle connection, focus on the body part that you're actually working, feel it in your body and go really slow on the eccentric five seconds down. So you can do 15 reps of push ups. 20 reps of squats and 15 reps of pull-ups, three sets of each. Do about a minute rest between each set. When you're resting, actually focus on your recovery. So don't just sit there, actually focus on your breathing and bringing your heart rate back down. This is gonna help you with your stamina and your conditioning more than you realize. Learning to control your breath is so important for stamina, for endurance, and for your ability to recover faster after short sprints and short bursts of strength and power. Now, when you're doing these exercises, if you can't get to those 15 reps, that's fine. You need to do what is challenging for you. So if you get to failure around 10 reps because you're going super slow, you're really controlling the motion, then that's totally okay. You just need to do a little more next time. So don't worry about what I'm doing. These are just basic recommendations. If you're ahead of them or you're below them, you need to challenge yourself. So don't worry about what other people are doing. Worry about what you are doing and just focus on doing a little more each time. You could do this workout every other day, give your muscles a little bit of time to recover at least 48 hours before you go and do the exact same exercises again. So here I have to talk about the biggest mistake that I see people do all the time and I kind of touched on it before and that's just flying through these exercises with no control. You're just repping them out, you're just trying to get as many as you can. Maybe the coach told you to do 20 push-ups and you just do them as fast as you can. You're not getting anything out of it. You're basically wasting your time. Same thing if you're doing a squat or a pull-up. If you're just flying through it, you're pretty much working on cardiovascular uh, endurance here. You're not working on strength, you're not developing any muscle because you're not actually taking the time to activate the muscle fibers. So remember, control, especially going super slow on that eccentric movement. 
So what should you do now that you have this information? Well, remember the big takeaways from this video. First of all, you want to connect your mind to the muscle you are using. If you're doing a military press, a shoulder press in the gym, you have to actually feel it in your shoulder. Don't just go through the motion and say, oh, I did 10 reps, I did three sets of 10 reps, that's good. If you didn't feel it in your shoulders at all, you absolutely wasted your time. So really focus on connecting your mind to the muscle and making use of every single repetition. Number two, control the movement or the weight. It doesn't matter how much weight you lift or how many repetitions you do, if they're really poor repetitions. If you're just throwing the weight around, you're not getting anything out of it. If you're doing push-ups, but you're just doing really poor form, you're not doing full range of motion, you're just doing them as fast as you can, you are not getting anything out of it. So really focus on controlling the movement, slowing it down, feeling it on the up and the down. And to get the most of it, guys, I've seen, I've been working out for a long time and I've just started really focusing on negatives and I'm really seeing the benefits of it. So negatives is that eccentric movement. Let's say you pushed up from a squat. Now, as you're going down with that squat, focus on good form, control the motion, and go down super slow, five seconds down. You can go down even longer if you really wanna challenge yourself, 10 seconds down, and you will feel it. If you do that, you will only have to do five repetitions instead of 20 repetitions and you'll probably get more out of it because you're really taking the time, you're focusing and you're hitting every single little muscle fiber in, that, in those legs or whatever body part you're working. So focus on that eccentric movement. Now, if you wanna do this basic routine, as I said, you do not need fancy workout routines. You do not need me to make you an individual training program. You just need to get some exercises for yourself and say, hey, I wanna develop these parts or I wanna do this full body workout and stick to it. So basic, basic routine. Do the push-ups, the squats, and the pull-ups. 15 reps, three sets, 20 reps, three sets, 10 reps, three sets. So again, if you can't do them, do variations, maybe for the push-ups, you go to your knees for the last few. The pull-ups, you can just do a jump up and then go super down on the eccentric so you don't have to pull yourself up. Squats, you should be able to get 20 squats at this point, let's be honest. Now, when the squats are easy, you just take more time on them. You just make it more difficult on that eccentric movement. All these things when you're pushing up or you're pulling up, focus on being powerful and explosive. You can have one minute rest between sets so finish the exercise, let's say you did 15 push-ups, in one minute you're gonna go again and do another 15 push-ups, but while you're resting, don't just sit there panting, focus on controlling your breath and really trying to bring your heart rate down. So using that information, it's so important that you stay consistent. So many people are just gonna do the workout once and they're gonna say, oh, I didn't get any gains, this stuff doesn't work, this didn't work for me. It's all about consistency. I promise if you just never stop working out, you're gonna get results. People will get, they're so close to the results, but then they give up. Or they just have to stick to it for a few months or a few weeks, and then they see that, that little change in their body, and then you get excited, and then you get addicted to it, and then you just can't stop doing it. So make sure you stay consistent. Nutrition, obviously, is so important. I always talk about nutrition. You guys know I'm huge on nutrition. And a lot of you guys know that I'm a, I am, am a vegan, I am plant-based. I don't try to push that on anyone. That's just something that I decided for my life, for my longevity, for my athleticism, that it's the best choice for me. And I've been doing that for about a year. And I am probably never going back to eating animal products again. If you wanna do that, that's totally fine. That's your decision. I want you to do the research for yourself and come to your own conclusions. But nutrition is so important. So make sure that you're eating real whole foods, plant-based foods, add a little bit of meat and dairy on top of the plant-based diet that you're having if that's what you want to do but make sure that every day if you're doing the training you have to back it up with good nutrition otherwise again you're wasting your time in the gym really focus on your protein intake if you want to build muscle so some people say you need 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight i don't believe in that i think you need around 0.8 and i think it's a lot better on your internal organs on your kidney on your liver on your digestive system to consume less protein you'll still make the gains so focus on about 0.8 for example myself i'm around 175 180 pounds so i try to get about 130 grams of protein per day drink lots of water stay away from calories in drinks so stay away from the soda the pepsi the fake juices 
all that stuff, alcohol, stay away from that stuff. Just drink water. As a, you can see in this picture here, I drink some black coffee from time to time, some green tea, a little bit of club soda, zero calorie drinks, and most importantly, lots of water. And if you stick to those principles, you are going to start seeing the results. You're gonna see transformations in your body. You're gonna get stronger, more explosive. You're gonna get addicted to fitness. And personally for myself, I'm not stopping. You're gonna see me when I'm 85 years old. I'm gonna be the most ripped guy in the gym on the earth, well maybe not on the earth, that's pretty bold, but I'm gonna be the best version of myself and that's all that you can do for yourself. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to like and share. Comment below if you have any questions on this topic or any questions at all. I'll do my best to respond to them. I usually respond to comments only in the first 24 hours, so make sure you comment really quickly and subscribe for more training videos so you can come back tomorrow and we can keep on improving. I'll talk to you guys real soon.